All right, guys, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I was up late last night playing around with uh, the bit disc, which is the little mini, um, like, bit axe style uh, miner, but it doesn't run regular axe OS, it runs a different version. So I was gonna say, why couldn't I update it to regular axe OS? It might just brick it, but you know what? This might be a short video. So anyway, this is the, uh, the layout for the bit disc. I, I looked and see they don't have any new firmware available. So I uh, downloaded the latest um, Axe OS update, which was 2.12.0 B1. And we're gonna go over to bit disc and it's looking for a little bit different of a bin file. It's supposed to say bit disc dash minor dot bin instead of esp dash minor dot bin so i renamed the the file that i downloaded the the, the bid axe the axe os file and um yeah so there it is let's hit open and let's hit update firmware updated complete rebooting now I think I just bricked it. <laughs> All right, so can you put regular AxOS on your bit disk? No, it doesn't look like you can. Um, let me, I'm going to do an IP scan to see if maybe once it reset, it pulled a different IP address. I'll be right back. All right guys, so um, looking into it, it shows up on my IP scanner that it's online and connected, uh, but it doesn't show that it has a um, any kind of GUI or anything to connect to. So that is unfortunate. Um, it looks like there is a way to get into a boot flash mode, just like on the bit axes for the bit disks. I don't know if the process works for them the same. Luckily, I do have a backup of the original bit disk firmware. So I'm gonna play with that and um, yeah, yeah. So if you have a bit disc, do not flash regular Axe OS bit Axe firmware onto it. Word, word to the wise. So yeah, hopefully I can get mine flashed back. All right, later guys. See you on the flip side. Bye.